Hello everyone, my name is Ellie. I'm the team leader of the University of Arizona's Mixed Use Multifamily Housing Division. I have the privilege of introducing Sunblog at the Loop, a theoretical project questioning suburban growth patterns and the possibility of implementing a district energy system in Tucson. My outstanding team consists of faculty leader Jonathan Bean, Rachel Shorts, a fourth year BARC student, and Hao Wang, also a fourth year BARC student. We worked with TEP, the Watershed Management Group, and FRONT to create this project. Tucson is situated in the northern edge of the Sonoran Desert. Tucson was once the home of the Hohokam until it was settled by the Spanish missionaries. It was then acquired by America during the Gadsden Purchase. It became home to the University of Arizona and the Davis Monthan Air Force Base. Tucson has become the home of people from all over America and the world, fostering a rich culture of food and art. Tucson's hot, dry climate with low sky coverage is ideal for producing solar energy. PV panels are 25 more efficient than the same panel in New York, for example. Our built environment is an opportunity for change with gridded roads having already divided the city into microgrid scales. However, Tucson's power grid represents the familiar duck curve, where solar energy is produced when it is least needed. Sunblock aims to flatten the belly of the duck by introducing a district thermal energy system. In partnership with the other University of Arizona Solar Decathlon Design Challenge projects, the district system is proposing the two larger projects, the mixed-use multifamily and the elementary school, produce hot or chilled water to cool the houses of the Myers neighborhood. Water is chilled or warm during the day using air-to-water heat pumps driven by surplus solar energy generated by conventional PV systems. The water is then stored and delivered to the rest of the community to use as heating and cooling. Excess solar energy either goes to on-site batteries or back to the grid. The Sunblock District Energy System is being introduced to the Myers neighborhood. The Myers neighborhood is in the 85711 zip code, one of the poorest zip codes in Tucson. The medium household income is less than half of the national average. The community is built up of 396 homes, the myers Ganon Elementary School, The Loop, and Freedom Park, all connected by the utility easement shown on the map in blue. On site, Sunblock is providing PV energy to power the loop, including the in-unit conditioning ERVs and converting thermal energy used to condition commercial spaces with hydraulic fan coils. Leftover energy is stored in batteries or returned to the grid. In combination with the district energy system, Sunblock is proposing an innovative growth template for low density cities and suburbs. The proposed template guides builders and designers in creating a healthy, sustainable environment while also allowing for enough flexibility for each project to create a unique sense of identity. By understanding the reinforcing feedback loop that represents Tucson's growth now, with suburban sprawl encouraging social isolation, allowing a lack of accountability, and therefore causing increased climate change, we can change this pattern through Sunblock by creating a community, empowering that community to adapt, and causing sustainable changes, allowing us to reach our goal of a sustainable, healthy Tucson. The suburban growth template looks at building through a system thinking lens, connecting goals, adaptability, community, and sustainability as components of a system which function to uplift the community. These individual components are in themselves a system created by the relationships between the competition categories. Our site is an overpaved, low-density commercial lot that represents the typical commercial lot found in Tucson resulting in a city that suffers from temporary floods during monsoon season, a lack of walkability, and an underutilized transit system. The Loop's main goal is to provide healthy, sustainable living opportunities to the broader Tucson community. While providing energy, the Loop also provides public resources such as affordable housing, a library, daycare, makerspace, retail, and urban farm, 
Providing these resources is meant to strengthen the community and give them a sense of identity. Hi, this is how I will introduce our community, The Loop. In total, the site has 89 resident units. Our new building has 57 units and 32 retrofit units. Four unit types are offered. An ADA studio, one bedroom, two bedroom, and three bedroom units. The majority of the units are centered around the daycare and the laundry and gym facilities offered to the residents. The right side of the lot is our community space, featuring a retail space, office space, urban farm, and a library provided to this community and surrounding area. First of all, this is our retrofit unit. The retrofit unit transforms a weekend snorer strip mall into comfortable two bedroom units and a public resource. A sky facing to the south, which can provide more natural light to make people live inside more comfortable. You can see the diagram on the top of the right corner. This diagram directly shows how the inside looks like over the year. Our daycare center has the largest existing units in the strip mall that currently hosts two child care facilities. Within our target market and the surrounding Myers neighborhood, we recognize the need for child care and aim to fill it. Our office space is designed to take advantage of the Opportunity Zone tax incentive. This zone allows for some small business operating in this area to receive tax breaks and other federal financial incentives make it an ideal place to start a business. To encourage the development of small business within the neighborhood and the surrounding areas, the office space has four meeting rooms and four private office rooms as well as a large collaborative workspace. This is the Loops Culture Center, a contemporary library ideally run by the Pima County Public Library. This library provides this community and the Myers neighborhood access to internet, technology, and a class, such as the resume workshops offered by Pima County Public Libraries. This new build shows off its passive cooling method with beautiful recycled metal solar chimneys on the southwest facade. This facade reference the uh, Tucson vernacular using rusted steel while also choosing a material that is easily re reused and needs to additional finish in our climate. The new build continues the visual language of the solar chimney to the east with a shady patio clad with recycled metal screens and the native wines. Hi, Rachel here. Thanks to our income-based rent pricing, the Loop can prioritize three often overlooked demographics. These are the elderly living on Social Security, single parent families, and everyday residents of Tucson who make the average median income but can no longer afford inflated rent prices. In order to strengthen the Myers community, the Loop connects it to missing resources not only by providing them on site, but by improving public transportation in a car-dependent urban setting. This is accomplished through a new crosswalk, an electric car ride share, a reimagined bus stop that includes a community garden, and an extensive new bike path, existing utility easements used to install the Sunblock Thermal Energy District system have been adapted into this system of bike routes. Blurring the lines between indoors and out helps us understand how the outdoor environment can reduce our energy usage while also providing a pleasant place to live. Bioswells and solar chimneys strategically placed to work together to create a comfortable living environment. Solar chimneys increase the number of days in the year comfortable with natural ventilation from 12 to 27 percent, according to MIT's CoolVent modeling software. With each unit, natural building materials, ventilation, daylight, air quality, and acoustics all go into making a comfortable environment to create connections to nature and bring natural ventilation and daylighting into the unit, a skylight along with a glass door to the patio was added to the retrofit units. The Loops wall assembly is successful thanks to three special building materials. Infinite R is a phase change material that provides thermal mass with little weight. Our walls are insulated by bonded logic, which is made from recycled denim just outside of Tucson and replaces traditional fiberglass insulation with comparative R values. 
The walls are finished with pure bond plywood, a soy-based adhesive alternative to traditional glued plywood. This reduces the need for paint or other finishing material. All of our building components are non-toxic, VOC-free, and formaldehyde-free. While retrofitting the strip mall, special attention was taken to avoid thermal bridging in the existing slab. On the south, a bench with rigid insulation core is added. To the north, a curb cut replaces concrete with a continuous layer of insulation. With a 400, 54,750 kilowatt hour per year PV array, the loop generates enough energy to condition the entire Myers neighborhood. Our Woofy model confirms our ability to produce energy with cooling loads being reduced to 11,371 BTU per hour and the heating load being reduced to 25,952 BTUs per hour. The loop's EOI was calculated as 19.5 BTU per year. A predominantly CLT panel structure ensures a simplified construction process and small carbon footprint. Exterior walkways are a steel superstructure to avoid thermal bridging and withstand the Arizona sun. Balance ventilation is an important part of unit design and duct planning. Balance ventilation is achieved with supply ducts in bedrooms and living rooms and exhaust ducts from kitchens and bathrooms. Balance ventilation is achieved in commercial and public spaces through creative strategies. For example, our office has supply ducts running under a raised platform and exhaust ducts in the ceiling to take advantage of natural convection loops. The 12 CHP 120 Fully Integrated Heat Pump by A.O. Smith is Energy Star qualified with an industrial leading 4.2 COP. Used to supply domestic hot water to recirculation loops connected to an on-demand branches within the units, these heat pumps are placed in exterior circulation corridors to take advantage of the cool air produced as a byproduct of the heat pump technology. Grey water can be collected from clothes washers, bath tube showers, bathroom sinks. The grey water will go to our site water tank on the ground. After it's purified in a grey water collector to be used in the sunblock thermal energy system, reducing the amount of drinkable water imported from the Colorado River used in the system. One way that we create a positive feedback loop is by connecting with residents through our In the Loop app. This is where you can get comprehensive data about indoor air quality and energy use habits. This informs and empowers not only residents as individuals, but the loop as a cutting edge tool for sustainability. Understanding that each component adds up to a sustainable whole, even lighting in the loop adapts to its environment. Lumination sensors turn off indoor lights when the sun is out, and outdoor lights activate only with motion sensors. The lights are all LED, which uses over 80% less energy than traditional halogen bulbs. Operating as a limited equity co-op means the loop adapts to the people who inhabit it. Upon moving in, residents receive shares. As a corporation owned by its shareholders, the loop runs according to a board of officials elected by residents. This means that residents have a voice and a vested interest in the loop. Shares are also legally considered private property, which is an advantage for low-income renters also adapt to residents who live in the loop, not the other way around. Market rate pricing is based on Tucson's average median income, or AMI, to ensure that prices never exceed local income levels.
residents who make less than 60% AMI can qualify for a rent reduction program where payments will be determined based on their income. Thanks to the Sunblock Utility subscription, the average monthly utility cost goes from $200 to This income-based rent pricing allows the loop to accommodate the surrounding low-income demographic. This is thanks in part to Tucson's low cost of construction, which is 65% cheaper than San Francisco. Permeable paving and zeroscaping allows for 80% of the rainwater to be absorbed into the soil, recharging Tucson's falling water table and reducing dangerous flooding caused by runoff water. The site is designed to direct rainwater through all the landscaping as well as the agrovoltaic community garden with the help of bioswells. Bioswells are designed to allow for native vegetation to grow without any additional watering. These plant roots break down rocks and minerals into clay, which along with the roots themselves, absorb pollutants such as metals, phosphorus, and hydrocarbons, keeping them away from our water table. Agrovoltaics are used to create a comfortable bus stop. This allows for easy access to urban farming while also producing efficient, clean energy. Each component works together to create a sustainable and healthy living environment. Global warming is the future that we all must be prepared for. In order to be resilient, the loop needs to continue achieving its goals decades from now. By simulating a harsher climate affected by global warming, Woofy proves that the loop will operate at passive house requirements even in the year 2080. The Loop is an interconnected community, which makes for an excellent disaster response organism. In the event of a global pandemic, the elected board of directors can communicate efficiently with residents and officials. Units with individual ERVs and airtight layers, along with all exterior circulation, means virtually no mixing air, so residents can safely quarantine within their homes. A bike path 
and on-site resources keep residents connected to necessities, and a community garden is available in case of limited food supply. The Loop is an interconnected community, which makes for an excellent disaster response organism. In the event of a global pandemic, the elected board of directors can communicate efficiently with residents and officials. Units with individual ERVs and airtight layers, along with all exterior circulation, means virtually no mixing air, so residents can safely quarantine within their homes. A bike path and on-site resources keep residents connected to necessities, and a community garden is available in case of limited food supply. Sunblock aims to not only make individual products energy efficient, but entire neighborhoods through converting excess solar energy into thermal storage to be shared within a superblock. Innovation is found by embracing a systems thinking mindset while also setting goals to empower the community and encourage sustainable living. Architecture is used as a tool to harness passive cooling and heating, as well as celebrate the Myers community. By marketing units to underserved Tucson residents while also providing units at 100% AMI, the Loop aims to fill holes in the current housing market. Comfort and environmental quality are created by natural materials, daylight, bioswells, and solar chimneys all working together to create a living environment pleasant enough to make the loop competitive on the housing market. Engineering embraces systems thinking by understanding how byproducts such as cool air from heat pumps can become beneficial in certain environments. Careful attention is paid to selecting products and placing ducts to achieve balanced ventilation as efficiently as possible, always aiming to take advantage of natural convection loops when possible. Woofy modeling was used to confirm our compliance with the DOE Zero Energy Ready Home National Program requirements and to confirm our PV array has the ability to supply thermal energy to the entire Myers neighborhood. Resilience is built into our project from the choice of building materials to landscaping that will protect against floods to the ability to condition the loop efficiently even in the year 2080. Operations are an essential part of the Loop's success as a unified community. It's where the Loop fosters a relationship with residents. Our In the Loop app is a tool to empower residents with comprehensive data about energy use and indoor air quality. Each resident's energy profile is unique to them and gives personalized feedback based on their lifestyle. With this data, the Loop can become a tool The Loop is financially feasible and affordable. A unique ownership structure that puts residents in charge, keeps financial focus on our goals, and puts people in charge who want to see the Loop prosper. Cost of construction is low, and this, along with membership fees for market rate residents, make our affordable housing program possible. Monthly utility rates are low thanks to Sunblock, which averages only
by understanding that all components work together to create a sustainable future that we are all working for. Sunblock at the Loop will break the current unsustainable growth cycle. The Loop aims to empower the individual, create influence in its community, demonstrate a positive change, and finally become not only Tucson's new growth pattern, but a template My team members and I would like to thank you for your time and attention. Have a great day.